The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down 60. You get the NASDAQ off 15. S&Ps are off four and a half. Gold contracts trading up 770 at 12.43. We have silver up five cents, 17 dollars and 18 cents. Platinum is up nine bucks at 1,015. Light sweet crude down 44 cents, 51 dollars 73 cents a barrel. Like. Sweet crude numbers, 1030 today. Got all those crude inventory numbers. You oh, got it. yeah, big time. Notes, 10-year note, uh, up 10 ticks, 125.14, 30-year bond up a full point, 153.06. Good old king dollar down uh, 50 ticks, 100.195. You got the euro at 106. The yen is trading out here at a price point of 111.85. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wonder what's going on in your world. And the world of the market's out here, so we finally had the Dow fail in price and volume. That's what I saw in your letter. Yeah. And the real question today is that uh, are we going to get an expansion of volume as we move lower? You know, each and every time that uh, this baby moves lower, you know, we've, when you go back to December 14th, the lower spikes do have the volume in them. But guess what? For one or two days and then it dries up again. Sure. You know, so the indecision is still there, like sure. which way this is going to go. Uh, that being said, uh, where there's not much indecision is on this good old dollar. <laughs> uh, if we go over to the uh, dollar index, what you're going to see out here is that the consistency is pretty wild. Uh, that each and every <coughs> day, you know, the, the baby gets a bid on the way up, and each and every day it gets I sold know. off. We were talking about it yesterday. You right? know, pretty amazing. Um, and if you haven't test drove the Nadex product, folks, great time to do it. If you come over to our website, at TFNN, you're going to see how these defined option contracts trade. And I got to show you something this morning. So this is like Groundhog Day. You know, that it is. Let's, it, let's hear it, though. You're the, long the euro. I'm right? long the euro Which, again. Okay. Because Bought, you're bearish the dollar. I'm bearish the dollar. And... This morning, you know, there's, there's, and this is why, you know, Tommy and I, we, we talk about that you want to test drive the exchange so that you really understand these different contracts that are out there, right? Sure. So many times I like taking the contract that is right at the bottom of the box, okay? Yes. Um, now, this morning, there was one that was like, really like, my risk was only going to be $4. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's, if we pull this up, right, it's going to be the first one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, right. So I'm looking at, so you made the trade at about just prior to 8 a.m. Right. So it was trading at 1065. Right. That's so right. So you were probably looking at the 1068 box. Exactly. Where you would have had to go up, you know, a full. It's like 30 ticks. Right. Okay, before I came in the money. Right, before you got any intrinsic value. Right. right. Now, well, watch what happens. Is that the, And that contract was only going to cost me $4. Sure. Now, you know, 1068 is the floor, so you can see it's above that already. This is, I'm sorry, yeah, the floor, which is right here, 1068. Right. right. Um, so, yeah, you're at 1069.76, and let's just see right now. If you were going to, let's say, like... Oh, it's sick, man. Sell it. Well, yeah. you're, not, you're not quite in... So you have $20 of value now. I know. Yeah, for sure. It only cost me four, though. That's right. That's right. So I didn't do it, folks. This, and this, let me <laughs> right, show you right. why, okay? Because normally I'm always looking, okay, where is it going to go yeah, to? And the reason why I'm smiling, too, is just because, like, you know, you're going to lose the $4 a lot of times. Oh, right? totally. You know, for, totally. For, no, no, totally. Yeah, for sure. And so if we bring up the chart, I want to show you something. Because what it, Bloomberg? What it, or? Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so where, where, where I was going is that, and what you have to do is that if you're going to do something like that, you have to have, to, I have, to have a price projection. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. And my price projection on this trade this morning, I liked how this came down. So I said, okay, man, this is a nice little deal. And I'll go back to the dollar and show you what the dollar is doing. But I was really going into this trade, not for all, even all the way up here. I was going in for it right here. Sure. And that was like Which right... 
Yeah, which, which is barely like the floor. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. So what I did is that I went into the, the, the higher one. Yeah. Um, so, well, and I had a lot more risk on the, the table. Just the, the higher. Yeah, I mean, it was a lower spread, but higher risk, higher dollar risk. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. You had chose, so we're looking up here. You chose this one down no, here. Uh, yes. Um, where you're going to have, so let's say when you were buying them and you got in at, 10655 Would that be about right? That's yeah, it was uh, I was uh, I think it was about 118 or 118 dollars for 138 or something. Do you know what I mean? I was okay. risking per contract, right? But I felt that was better cuz that was uh, just a trade. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. That I, I, I was just flat out trading it, not looking that I first have to, you know, make the... Yeah, and I'm even looking at it, I think. Now, you have an average price and you have two, so maybe you got in one or the other. But no, no, I, I bought both at the same time. 106.53 okay. and 106.53. Oh, so, so I had 98 dollars. 98 for... For 152. Yeah, because yeah. It, it would make sense. So 6.53, right, you're 98 above the 5.55. Okay. And then you have profit potential all the way up to 108.05. Right. So um, that's the difference when you're looking at these two. And I just definitely. decided that, you know... Definitely, because even, you know, per contract right now, you have, what, $38 of profit per contract? Right. So on the other one, you only would have had even $16 of profit per contract, just to put things in. I know, but the 16 is is 400%. But you're going to lose that six, uh, that four. Oh, no, no, so I know, no, no, I know, I know, no, I, it, I'm glad what I did. I'm no, not, you know, I, I Those just, are I, the choices I, that you want to be aware of as you go into it. Though. Exactly, Definitely. exactly. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 40, Nasdaq's off 8, S&P's off 2.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks, uh, and let's go over. We know we uh, we got the oil market. Oil numbers come out last night. Now the oil numbers came out. Uh, the API numbers came out, uh, and there was a huge build okay. last night. Uh, so uh, what we're looking at right now is that we'll we like these volatility trades, folks. Okay, so it's a non-directional trade. We're just looking for high volatility inside the marketplace. Sure. So we pulled up during the break. Here's the crude oil contract. Looking at March, we have. Two of the spreads, we jump to the 11 a.m. spreads. Here are our options. We have oil trading at almost 51.75. Yep. And we fortunately have ones that line up exactly with the floor and the ceiling at 51.75, which is always nice because then you're not even really paying any intrinsic value. Right. right? It's just all premium away from that point. Um, so here we had, and we already made the trade. So here we were selling the one where 51.75 is going to be our ceiling. And we're buying the one where 51.75 is going to be our floor. Right. And you can see it's about $40 total. And that's because you're paying about 20 cents. And you can see the positive one, you're getting in at 51.95, 20 cents above. The negative one, you're getting in with 51.75, exactly 20 cents above. So you're paying 20 cents a premium right. on each side for the dollar fifty. So you're looking at 40, about $40. So that's what uh so between the two contracts, and you got a couple of each, but $40. See, that means 40 cents. Right. And 51.75 is going to be that point that's kind of the pivot point there. Which isn't bad, you know, to me. No, anyway. no, right. No, I agree. I you agree. Know, 40 this, cents. It's been moving a lot. Yeah. Um, and, and these are the 11 a.m.s, of course. So you got it, you know, 35, 40 minutes from right now, but 30 minutes after the news. Right. Um, and what's nice is, you know, you pull it up. When it lines up so perfectly, now this is a delayed, that's why I said yes. 5167, because it is actually right. right even at 5175 within three one thousandths, you know, yes. to it. That's where it's the sweetest. And sometimes it might make sense if you really have no directional bias just to get in, you know, 40 minutes ahead of the expiration, right? When it lines up like that. Like we right. didn't even wait until after the break because no. we said, oh, this is perfect. It is. It's $20 on each side. And right. that way, you know, you have 20. And that way, now you have 40 minutes, really be nice to get a nice move within the 10 minutes, to totally. even 10, 15 pennies, and then have the news break in your direction, and it has a little head start. Right, because watch what I'm looking at here, folks. And, and now, oil, because oil's had a lot of movement, too, it's like, okay, you know, uh, can it get more movement? I mean, we've just gone from $54 down to $51.69 in three days. Definitely. Now, what I'm looking at is that, see this, this from downdraft yesterday afternoon when the API number come out, right? Yes. Well, when I'm looking at that, that can bounce there just as easy, and that sure. that would give us the 50 cents. So that that's not 50, that's, 55 that's not a big deal, that. but it's still right. a winner, yes. right? Now watch this. That's a winner. Now watch on the other side, folks. The other side's intense. The other side is saying, okay, we're into, and this, I was looking for this for a long time, meaning the the high of OPEC. The yes. high of OPEC is 51.65, right? When you came, when we came down, if you watch the, let's see, let me put this. How we came down yesterday, we had big expanded volume coming into the swing point, okay? We, we did uh, 624,000 contracts yesterday. Yeah. So what that sets up, on that side, it's like, oh man, if you get into this bar here, you know, you can get oil at 49.40, 40, 49.40, 50, I mean, you don't know, once sure. you break down, you break this down, you, you can get some real... And Sound what happens movement. is the max profit for that contract is going to be fifty twenty five above yeah. fifty. So, so that, you know anything beyond that, unfortunately, you're not able to even get right. the value. But we're talking about okay. eleven a.m. Right. right? Yeah, for right. sure. I like the idea that on both sides, I'm looking at something that you could get. That's what it yes, comes down to. Right. Do you know what I mean? And you know maybe it's something that you consider, and you have. Oh, we will. You know, seven, taking one side minutes. off and going yeah. on the other side. Yeah. You know, if if you want to go for the home run to the downside and you feel like it might not get a home run to the upside, then maybe that's the case where if you get a huge pop, you take those 50 cents we right will. away. We will. And you that's cover your money, that's and exactly then you look for will. a reversal over the next until 11 a.m. We will. That's yeah. exactly what we'll do. Okay. That's, so that's how we're going to shake it out. We'll see how we'll see how the news breaks. We'll see how the news breaks, baby. <laughs> uh, the breaks in the market. So let's take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness out here. So inside the Dow Industrials, the strength out here uh, is Nike. 
That's up nine tenths of one percent. Home Depot's up seven tenths. Um, Valusa, um, Exxon Mobil down one point six percent. Boeing's down one point three. IBM's down one, and J.P. Morgan's off one. Let me look at J.P. Morgan. See these bond moves. It, yeah, it hasn't come down with volume yet. Uh, inside the NDX 100, which we have, uh, you get uh, microchip is up 6.5%. Uh, Cognizant Technology is up 35 Mondelez is up 2.7%. And uh, Oli uh, Automotive is up 6 I mean 2.3%. Uh, Taken away from it, oh, look at that. Akamai is getting killed. Akamai is down 12%. Gilead is off 9.5%. Uh, Big time. <laughs> Seriously. Western Digital is down 2%. We go back to Gilead for a second. This is going to be a large ABC down. This has been building strength. Look at this thing. Wow. You want to see something, folks? I was looking at this last night. Um, if we put this on a monthly and you can kind of see how clear it is. Um, this thing took off from $18 in 011, right? Goes up to 123 Now, watch this. When you, when you, you make a high... 79 million shares. You go sideways at 62. You come down with 70. And it starts, let's see, it starts in January. You go down with 81. You make another low at 97. And this one here, what it was gunning for, which it, which it just got this morning, is that, that high volume low from April of 2014, which is like, they're like magnets, man. And if this breaks it with volume, you know, bottom line is that, you know, you're talking about going to back to right where it started from, which is just insane, you know. But as one of the, one of the tigers in the den are actually saying, too, uh, it's a hepatitis drug. You talk about uh, missing a number. They were looking, I believe the number, they were looking for 12 million, uh, 12 billion in hepatitis drug, and it came in with nine. Um, Gilead's fell the lowest level. Yeah, here it is. Revenue from the company's drug. Yeah, uh, 7.529. To 9. And that, that's far from the 11.6 billion. <laughs> that's intense. And that's in this year they're talking about. Yeah, one year. One year. It, that's, that's, sh that's shocking. Yes, that's a big one. <laughs> that is absolutely $3 shocking. $3 billion dollars shaved right off their revenue. Revenue! Yeah. Yeah, huge. You know what's remarkable, too, in terms of, I, I bet... Their cost of good is is nothing, right? All the costs go into the development. Right. So that three billion, man, right. how much? Right, right to the bottom right line. Right to the bottom line. Exactly. Right to the bottom line. Yeah, there's no doubt about yeah. that. They have some cost in terms of sales, but that infrastructure is built. The the, the medicine itself is very menial to just produce on a cost basis. Oh, three yeah. billion bucks gone. Bye bye. <laughs> um, some of the higher volume stocks uh, in this market out here right now. Uh, let's see, Bank of America is down 39 cents. Uh, you got uh, Freeport MacMoran up 11. Facebook's up a buck 95. You have uh, Grubhub down 355. The delivery service, right? Yeah. Maybe um, that's Amazon cutting into there. Why would, right? Seriously, man. How are they going to be in business when Amazon's delivering everything? <laughs> they have that Amazon food, right? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, you stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back, and we will come back. Pull up oil number real quick. All yeah. right, we're right at 51.75 still. We'll see 10.30, those oil numbers are coming out. 877-927-6648. Be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com welcome back folks uh let's see gasoline inventories rose uh 869 Thousand barrels. You had uh, distilled rose. So crude oil. Crude. This is the uh, crude oil right here. Thirteen point eight million barrels rose. So almost fourteen million. Um, we're watching it bounce around here, and now we're getting a rise for sure. So here's our positive one, fifty-one seventy-five. That's where we're going to have the value, right now, of course. I thought it was going to keep going there for a second. Yeah. Nice no, run. it's it was a it's 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 a good. It's. Let's see as they come across. I wonder if we can see real quick the um, estimates. We'll have to pull it up. There's always so much. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. The median estimate was 2.5 million barrels. So and that should send the, the price down dramatically. Right, right. Let's jump back. Okay. With a miss like that, we should get some volatility, though, for sure. Well, we got volatility. We've gone from 51.60 to 52. Yeah. We need more volatility than that. I know. <laughs> uh, believe me, I know. Because, uh, we, well, we're dealing with 40 cents. We are. And, you know, we're only a minute and a half in. And if anybody watches the program Wednesdays, Thursdays, there's some, some good action for at least five to ten minutes trying to figure out which way it's going to go. Right. And then it might continue in that direction after that. And we definitely don't want it staying right here. We don't. That's, this is, so when we're doing a volatility trade like this, folks, this, it was nice that it was at the floor of 51.75, but that would be the worst place for me to end. That's your max at, loss. At, that's it? the max loss. Basically exactly. Everything, right. Uh, which, yeah. which hasn't happened yet. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. And very right. random, very seldom will it be to the penny. But yeah, I mean, you don't want it anywhere near this because, you know, but on the good side, 10 million barrels off the estimate in either direction will provide some, some some volatility it should. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. there's no doubt, there's no doubt. No doubt, so let's go back and we'll take a look at see how the rest of the market is reacting, particularly the, uh, what, what we did have is that you had the Exxon Mobil, uh, that was one of the largest losers, well that was the largest loser inside the Dow Industrials. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's not, that's actually, Exxon Mobil's breaking out its low, look at this. I mean all that inventory, the price should be tanking right now in oil. I mean, there's 10 million more barrels than they thought there'd be. 
Yep. So that's not going to cause the price to go up, that's for sure, you know. Right. And, you know, what you do have here is that you have uh, ExxonMobil, man. This is, this is breaking on its low of uh, 82.29. So bring this back a bit. Oh, yeah, I see. What's... So that's making its way down to the $75. Well, I'm actually, was that? The high is well, 79.92 is the high of uh, January 15th, the week of January 15th. So we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. Um, banking structure wise, uh, let's go take a look at the XLF. So the XLF, you get 16 million shares. Oh, 16. I think it's going to still need a lot more than. 10.30 in the morning. I sell 16 million shares at 10.30 in the morning is, is, is good volume. Uh, you're coming into 31, I think. 30, 39. So we'll see how that uh, shakes out. The expansion of volume, if we don't get that expansion of volume, folks, bottom line, you go right after the highs again. Um, you know, yeah, jam that thing down. Cause yeah, the, we'll keep checking on it. And the, well, and, and the down action... That's where you thought you might get a home well, run. That's where the, that's where the big and, action is. And is realistically, on a, on a miss like that, that's probably where you can get a home run again, right? Yes. In terms of those 10 right. million extra barrels. That's right. The odds that, and now you you got right. 20 cents to the downside right. all of a sudden. Right. Um, so we'll see. And if it eats into that, it, see, we're right at the top of the OPEC meeting. Once it eats into yeah. that bar, it's like Mark's sure. not believing it. You sure. know. Let's go to uh, Ken in Kansas City. Hey, Ken, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, it's great here. Yeah, it's wonderful. Good, good. Good to almost, hear your voice, man. Almost as good as weather as we have in Florida. I, uh, that's that's a beautiful <laughs> thing, because it's beautiful here right now. We can smell yeah. spring, believe it or not. I understand. Yeah. I, uh, I bought an option on GLD a while back. It's, uh, let's see, it's, uh, it expires February 10th, and it's a $119 call. Right now, I'm I'm I got a gain on it. I Take your money. It, I bought it at 16. And that, what's it trading at? It, it's 20. Uh, as, uh, asking 28 now. Take your money right now. Okay, that's yep. what I was wanting to know. Whether it let yep. it expire or just take the money? No, because what's going on is that. The, the reason that you're, you're in the money is not because of the, the, the price of it. Do you know what I mean? It's because it's moved so fast, so there's big premium in this, and the market makers are worried, because this is Friday, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and you have the 118 strike, right? 119. 119. 119. So you're, you're out of the money. Take that money and run, and thank okay. God. <laughs> thank, you, thank you much. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. It's Wednesday. Imagine that. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, right. that's pretty intense. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. That's beautiful. Let's go to our man, Mike in Somerville. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Okay, Tommy, I'm going to be making this a regular thing now. I'm not going to talk about the Patriots other than Guaco and not yesterday at the, per, uh, at the parade taking his shit off. Freaking beers. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that picture yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to... Check it out. It's a celebration, man. They were going a little crazy. Uh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, girls want, the girls want a Gronk shirt off, and he obliged to it. it was, <laughs> that's so kind of funny. Of... I know, man. They, they, yeah. They're great role models. There's no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the stocks. Back to the stocks. I, I don't know why I'm in this thing, Tom. I'm not an investor. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm a trader. I got two things going in Nadex that I want to talk to you about, too. They're already done, so I just, you know. But, uh... What do you think about Under Armour? I mean, you know. You're not married to this, are you? Are you... No, no, okay. no, no. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know why I'm even in there. Yeah, I. Let's. Well, here, let me. Let me just look at Nike. No, I only bought it. I only bought it a buck ago, Tom. So I, you know what I mean. I just bought it recently. You know, so. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So. You were looking at the Nike, not Nike, there. Oh, thank you. N K E. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see any action in this, man. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and the reality is that, let me just pull this back a bit. <laughs> yeah, this is dangerous, man. I just get out of it. It's not worth it. Yeah. You know, you yeah, can wake up in the morning and the stock can be at $13.40. It's like. Yeah, it's just, you, you even think, I mean, it's, I mean, it's up a little. You said earlier Nike was, uh, 
you know, was up a little bit. This, something might have, something's got to be, why are they both up this morning, you know what I mean, with the market down, but, you know. Yeah, and Ni- Ni- Nike, you know, also, you know, when you look at Nike, you know, it, it's off the highs. I mean, you know, and you got, see that volume on the way down? It's always dangerous when you come off these highs and then you see that expansion of volume and and there's, there's like not clean floors because we went up so fast. So that's like, you know, that's like your triple decker in Somerville, man, and like South Boston. The bottom line is that you have no middle floor of a triple decker. And that's what, you, that's what you're dealing with with those equities. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I hear you, buddy. That's why I was calling you. You know what I mean? Like you say, that money could be better off moved elsewhere. It's gold. You, you stay right there. You stay right there. We're coming right back. We have the Dow right now down 65. NASDAQ is off 7.5. S&Ps are off 3.5. Uh, gold's up 770. We're going to be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down 56. You get the NASDAQ off 4.5. S&Ps are off 3.5. 2.5, rather. We're talking with uh, Mike from Somerville. Okay, guys. So I got... Uh... Just a quick, um, I just did a quick, um, you know, taking a chance on this one, Tommy. I did the 1242.50 on the gold. I, um, I'm going down on that one, Tom. And Nadex. Okay. So, so are, you, are, you, are you doing a spread, Mike? 
No, no, I'm not. Uh, I don't know how to do that, guys. I just know that I just go about three dollars from where it is, and I hope it goes uh, below that number before it gets to the end of the day. <laughs> and the dailies, okay. The yeah, bi it's the a binary. This is a binary. Right? So it's a binary. I think so. Tom. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. You know what? I don't even know how to close it out if I'm, if it, you know, if so I want to. So perfect. Oh. That's what. That's well. Well, well it's good you called, man. So where? I'm on the mobile. Where? I'm on the mobile. Away. I'm on the mobile on my iPhone. Perfect. Yeah, they have okay. a good. Okay. So, so the one that you, what did you? So you would have sold it, Mike? Is that correct? Yeah, I sold it about three. It must have been about two and a half dollars higher than than the forty two fifty. Sure. Because I was looking so, maybe it go down maybe two two and a half bucks or something. And what'd you sell it at? Do you know what what you sold? What price you sold it at? Uh, yeah, it was about two dollars. It was about two or three dollars higher than this. I was like um. Now, like my maximum loss was like about, I think it was like fifty dollars or something like that. It said. Okay. Okay. So it was probably close to that level. Yeah. So right now it's going to be trading at forty-nine by about fifty-three. It looks like. Um, that's what we're looking at. 12, yeah. 42, right. No, no, absolutely. Okay. Right. Um, and you know it's come down. We're now gold's at twelve forty-two, like sixty-eight. Right. Yeah, mine's saying like blue. It's saying four dollars and twenty-five cents in blue right now. Five dollars, five and a quarter right now. Okay. And, and profit probably. Yeah, that, yeah, that right. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. Yeah. So, so what? So, what was your plan with? Uh, I mean, of course. So you can close out of that, Mike, at any time. You know, right now, you know, you you probably got in maybe closer to like forty-five or something like that. You're risking forty-five to make maybe fifty-five if it comes in full in the money. Um, and so, right. Right, you know, it's ticked down a few, and, and this is where, you know, you're 20 cents under the strike price. These, the, the gold stopped trading at 130, so that's the end right. of the dailies. Um, and I guess you got to make a decision whether, you know, you want to try and let it expire or, or close out the trade if maybe it goes with you or against you. And, you know, if it goes up a dollar, you can always close that out and not lose the entire fifty dollars in value you have right now even if it even if it goes down to you know where you can only get thirty dollars in value back if you don't think it's going to work Go ahead. right and the way you close it out mike right you, you're just going to yeah. basically you, you're going to you can either just go on the offer yeah you, you, you hit, buy it you hit the offer right and it's going to load up right what you have right you know and then just buy it and that's right. that's closing the sell Okay. Okay. So, all right, Tommy. So, hold on. I'm just gonna click on it right now. Yeah. And now, now it's now I got I got bought, I got you know I got the, the the red and the blue, and then I got the place order. Would I just place the order right now at market? If I if I wanted to get rid of it. Well, it wouldn't you, say market. It would have a price on it. Yeah, I think you're gonna want a limit order in yeah. there, Mike. That's the next, uh, and it okay. should load with a <laughs> limit order in default. So you're gonna enter the number of contracts and the price. But if um, if you yeah. start okay. from your active positions, I believe, yeah. within the, the app, then you're able to close out the trade easier. You right. can still do it in the same way. Now, he's on the mobile, though, which is going to be different than just clicking. Right. Um, but but that will load almost an automatic order, you know, in terms of when you click on it, it'll load them initially right away to whether it's, you know, you have one, two contracts, it'll be to buy them to close that out. Okay. So you'd That's be buying it, you know, right now to this second, we're looking at it. The 1242.50 binary, it's trading at 43 by 48.75. So you'd be buying on the offer. Right. At, at that, you know, I think it's probably blue in the same way it is for us. You're yes. buying at the higher price. You know, you're buying at the price on the right side, the offer. Okay. I got you. I got you. Now yeah, I got this. I'm going to let this one go to the day because, you know, I mean, all I'm looking for it to stay here or maybe just stay a buck less. I mean, you know. Yeah, right. No, no, right. You have, you have, now you have 30 cents in cushion. It closes anywhere from where it is right now to 30 cents above by 130. And, um, and yeah, that'll, that'll be worth $100 for sure. I got the natural gas 310 today, too. <laughs> natural gas, gold, all over it. 310. It says I'm up, it says I'm up $34 on it right now, the natural gas. Let's take a quick look but at that just went, even that went, around, that went around 2 o'clock. That could just that could just go away like nothing. That's 2.30, right. Yeah, yeah. But, the 310. All right, guys, yeah, at, perfect right there. I'm with that Nadex, man, because I'm a little bit, uh, I, I appreciate you guys doing that. You know what I mean? We will, we will, we will walk you through it. It's a beautiful thing, All Mike. Right. Okay, man. All right, have, Thanks, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's take a look here. So uh, we got another caller. 
Uh, let's go to Lou in Nashville. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Hey, not, not much, Tom. Just uh, shoveling some snow. Oh, really? Is it? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I guess it makes oh, sense. Yeah. It's February. Yes, kids kids are going to be on vacation. They need snow to go sledding. <laughs> That's right. You got it. <laughs> hey, I'm in, this, I'm in Nugget. I've been in it for a while. And uh, I'm just wondering which your projection on that and when should I fail? Oh, it's a close one here. Let's take a look. Okay, so this has been walking the stairs, and this has been a tough one to stay into. I mean, uh, you know, you're, the GDX right now is at 25.58. Uh, 25.70 is your swing here. That's, that's trying to get up into. Um, set up all right here. Let me go look at the dollar. The, the way I've stayed in this trade right now, Lou is the dollar, you know, because it, right, right. Uh, that's where this has been a tough trade to stay in, man. Um, yeah, you know, know, because it's like every day the dollar is up and it's giving it up, and it's like, okay, man, but why is it up every day? You know, it's like, okay. Yeah. So now the next thing you do, what I do is that I go to ABX first. So Barrett Gold's the largest weighting structure, you know, and you can see that. This run in Barrick has been incredible. I mean, it's just, you know, now you're at 1948 and you're over at the 1895. It's like, okay, man, you know, do you, do you want to run up to 2219? Yeah, it can, you know, New, yeah. Newmont would be next. Newmont is set up. I like the setup in Newmont. Those are two large waiting structures. So Newmont like wants to run to 3840 and mm -hmm. then what what happened this morning is that if you go over and take a look at this, so this is Stanley Druckmiller. Yeah, Druckmiller. Yeah. Um, now, him and Soros were known for, they, they broke the Bank of England. That's how they made their billions. That's 1980-something, right, right? Then, yeah. you know, Druckmiller was with Soros until like about 10 years ago. The bottom line is that Last time that he was in gold, he was in gold last year at this time, ran it. I mean, when, he, when he's in gold, they're buying thousands and thousands and thousands of GLD and ounces and all of that. Then he sold it, okay? He sold it. On election night. Yeah, so, yeah, okay? And now, so these 13F filings just come out again. Well, bottom line, he's right back in it again. So when I saw that this morning, I said, okay, that's going to make it a little bit easier to, to stay in it. Um, the bottom line, Lou, is that it's, it's getting... Tougher to stay in it, and I don't know whether I'm going to be in it by the end of today. Let's put it that way. It's that close. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? It really is. I got you. Yeah, right, so. right. I'll try okay. to give you a little more feedback when we come back, all right? Okay. Stay right there. Dow right now is down 40, NASDAQ's up 3, SP's a flat. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And uh, if we just go to the uh, oil market just for a second. So we got a nice little run there, right? We, Over. we got a spike. So we were in a... 51.75. We had 40 cents that we needed. Right. We got a run up, and you closed out the positive side at 52.30. Right. So 52.30 to 51.75, 55 cents, 55 dollars, right. and you had right. 40 dollars of risk. So you had 15 dollars of profit. Even right. taking off a dollar on each side for for 13 dollars of profit um, right. when you're only risking 40. Not right. bad when really. There was a huge surplus build, and maybe you're looking for the downside. Oh, totally. So again, well, yeah. and, and the and the goal here at the beginning, which we had said, folks, it would have been. If, if you're going to rise to the top, I would have took it anyway because I was profit. looking right. more for the you, bottom. You weren't you know looking know? for a home run to the top. Right. Yeah. Um, we take a look at. Uh, so we're, we're talking to Lou. We're talking to Lou, yeah. And so, Lou, what I would do as you go through the day here, right? Mm -hmm. um, if the dollar is staying down, which it is, right? Well, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, okay? The mm -hmm. doll, if the dollar stays down just like it is right now, or even up a little, but when I say up a little, but still in the, in the red, I'm staying in the position because the, right. the, the the bigger trend is the dollar wants to go to that 96, 965. And if that's what you get, that means that, right. that we're going, and gold's in an ABC structure on the way up, that means that we are going to the August highs. And that's a huge movement. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. So. Yes, right. So that's kind of how I'm playing it. And what does happen is that the harder these to get to stay in, you know, sometimes they work better. It's a, but you got to remember, it's this streak has been pretty intense already, so. Yes, it's been great. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go to David in Paris, Texas. Hey, David, what's going on? Hey, how you guys doing? We're doing hey, great, man. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Yeah, see, I got a question about GOLD and the fact that it uh, looks like it's already hit the one to one. And what's the chances of it going to 1.5 on the ABC up? Where I think it's looks like we're well, no. I let me just check this. So 67, um, 20. No, the the one to one's like up at 100. This oh, this has okay. another ABC. This just this just blew this just blew away another B point. Um, and the B point on you're Monday. looking at is 124, January 24th. Okay. Yeah. David okay. might be looking at that last yeah, peak it, somewhere right, back here. Right. Here. This thing this thing I, I suspect David this thing is wants to run up to this 104. That's that's your August sw that's your September Sept swing. So is that uh, I'm I'm in the car so is that uh one to one of the next ABC up? Uh, well, I think it's 100. Uh, let me. Uh, so that's 86. Where are we going from? Yeah, right there. 67. Yeah. So like 19. Is it 19? Yeah. Coming off. Yeah, 90. Like 80. So 99. Yeah, 99. 99. So like 99, and that's coming off a right. B point of January 24th. Right. David. And, and okay. Yeah. I'd I'd stay right so, there. If you own this, stay right yeah. there. That. 
you know. Yeah, it look it looks like we're at what half a million shares today already. Yeah, yes, five hundred five hundred eighty eight thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's off to a pretty good day. Yeah, and he's making money hand over fist. <laughs> he, yeah, well. Yeah, well, that's what that's the object of the game here. Yeah, no, I, I'm saying that the company is making money hand over fist. I mean, he. Oh, he, yeah. The, the you cool, said he. You know, they don't know. Okay, yeah. The, the the cool thing is, is that the, um, he, okay, Rango came out with their numbers. They were big numbers. Um, he got 500 million in cash, you know, in no debt. So it's pretty intense, man. So, I'd stay right there, Perfect. man. Perfect. Thanks for the help. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And then the swim lessons. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.